see that's two legs of three phase power coming out of their charge controller. We got a 30 mile an hour wind right now and it's making nothing for power. Oh, there's a bigger gust. Wow, look at that. I think we're up to... Oh, look at that. Now, why does the amp meter jump around like that? We almost got... We almost peaked at 5 amps there. Oh, look at that. We peaked over 5 amps. Yeah, that's 30 mile an hour wind right there. meter bouncing all over the place. It might have something to do with this right here. Two legs of three phase power. See one of them's at four amps, one of them is at zero. There, that one went up to five amps, and the other one bouncing around still at zero. Look at that, it's over ten amps, twelve amps, the other one's still at zero. The other one's still at zero, and this one's at 10 amps. Now what kind of baloney is that? Those legs are supposed to be equal. Now if I take this one and off of the black leg and put it on the red leg, look at that. Those two phases are equal. See, they both go up together nice, okay, and they just sit together nice, See, not a problem. That's how three-phase power is supposed to work. But as soon as I take that off and clip it onto the, onto the black leg, I get zitch. Look at that one, buried the needle on that one, and the other one's still dead. Look at that, almost 15, and they're both on the 15 amp scale. See that one there is giving nothing, and that one there is over 10, 15, 12. Look at that, burying the 15 amp scale over there. See, look at that. One of them's burying the 15 amp scale, and the other one's just kind of bouncing around like it's got a, uh, an open connection. You would think there would be arcing or something going on. And these are the wires that are coming right off of off of the three leg, uh, the three phase directly from the windmill itself. Not, uh, I'm not really impressed with uh, these results.